antiques expert Tracy Martin. Antiques expert Tracy Martin. Fashion historian Tracy Martin. Tracy Martin. Women are finally liberated, shorter hemlines, so their shoes are on mm. show. We're seeing them on Downton all the time, <laughs> these. We then move on down here. We're getting closer and closer to home now, it's to our time. These are 1950s. We have um, a men's pair of lace-up brogues. Correspondence, so they used to call those, don't they? still do correspondence <laughs> shoes. Just, you know, your typical shape of a man's shoes yeah. you expect today. And these are women's, and that was when the stiletto started to come back into fashion, because Roger Vivier introduced it back in to women's right. shoes. People are paying really good money to so own just a piece of celebrity. His hair. So I'm going to give you three names, and what I'd like you to tell me is which one you think hair is the most valuable, and roughly how much you think it's worth. So okay. is it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just drop you in at the deep end yes. there. How crazy are you going today, Tracy? I want to go crazy, bonkers, out of the ordinary. No. Just things that people might not have considered collecting. And I'm going to start with a little challenge for you guys. Is it a little celebrity challenge? It to is see a what little... they've been collecting, it by any chance? It certainly is. And how did you know Nothing that? Nothing gets past you. <laughs> mm. Vivian Westwood bondage boots with monkey toes. So I can't see Mrs T slipping into those without... <laughs> I like them mine. Right, right. I wear those oh, all the time. So <laughs> Crap, I your own Tracy. It's fine. And the, they're sensational, aren't These they? are I mean, high street stores so these are you know sort of 25 30 quid and it just it's about the the print on these and it's all pineapples and if you've got a really good print on them then they're really good to invest but in but if well. you want to invest in them don't wear them presumably i do but wear them on carpet if possible don't wear them outside don't wear them clubbing on the street. no and there ah. is actually Justin Bieber's hair. <laughs> we can't touch it, we can't Good. contaminate it. He signed the top and that's available from... Um, that's Bieber's hair? £35,000 retail from Paul Fraser Collectibles. You and are that's kidding me. Yeah, just to let you know, Michael Jackson sold for about 7000 and Elvis has had loads of hair sold over the years with the most being oh, um, most recently, much, 2009 for 11 pounds How much should we get for a Spice Girl's hair? Well, do you know what I was thinking, <laughs> that? Have you got some scissors? Yeah, what I've got here... A meteorite. Mm. Now, there are three different types of meteorites. This is one of the rarest ones. This is a, a palisite meteorite, which basically means it's got iron content and crystals. Tracy, so this if, isn't from Monday, is it? This is not from Monday. This dates to the Great Fireball of um, the 1700s. Right. It basically came over the UK, broke up in Yorkshire into two pieces, and then went over to France and Europe, and this one actually fell in the UK. Incredible. From the London Vintage Fair, I'm going to send you out to search for treasure in the form of vintage accessories. You need to bag a bargain. You have a hundred pound each. Ooh, Ooh. Is that it? <laughs> and you only have one hour, guys. Okay. Off you go. Great, thanks. Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Five, anyone? 30, 35, 40. 40 on the phone now, 45 anywhere, 45 at you. I have never known how to say so. So today, to kick off the final challenge, I would like you, my treasure hunters, to find some beautiful French glass. Oh, okay. mm, la, la. Oh, la. If Jeff can find something that he can double, treble or auction, then he's on to a winner. I've decided to call in Tracy Martin, an expert in antiques and collectibles. I hope she can find some diamonds among the dust. Get rid of as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Clear your Great. space, clear your mind. There you go. <laughs> well, that Brilliant. Long. <laughs> we'll start with your golf packaging. Right. So okay. if you just pop that outside for me, that would be lovely. Now we've also got a really interesting collection here. So these, as you know, are morning brooches. Yes. Yeah. When you say morning, is that with a, with a U? It is. I've never heard of those before. What, oh, have you not? That? Very, very popular in the Victorian era. And basically, they're a memorial to the deceased of a loved one. So basically, um, a lady would wear her mourning brooch, but in the back, she would put a lock of hair of the person that she lost. This particular one, this is a base metal case. It's not gold. Right. Inset with seed pearls, but this star is nine-carat gold.